and handsome. Yeah. Uh, corona cannot defeat you. You defeat it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, let us run to the book of Acts. Chapter 5. I read to verse 4. But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession. They kept a part of it. They kept back part of the price. His wife also being privy to it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan, the devil, filled your heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? While it remained, was it not your own? And after it was sold, was it not in your own power? Why has you convinced, why have you conceived this thing in your heart? Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have not lied to men, but you have lied to God. Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the Holy Ghost. And a great fear came on all of them that had these things. You are not going to fall down in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of the living God, on this series that we are moving in the book of Acts, I pray that, Lord, you speak to us Let our hearts be open. Thank you, Lord God, for the praise and worship. Thank you, Father, for the instrumentalists. Let the glory go to you. I thank you, Father, for the arrangement that is in this place. The administration, the pastoral team, the ladies, the men, the children. Cover them, Lord, with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Let your blood touch each door, touch each family, because you are a king of kings. Through the name of Jesus Christ, we prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, actually, I thank God for this worship team. It is so powerful, and it is taking us to another level. Hallelujah. Yeah, this is so powerful. Uh, in the same way, the people who were with Peter at that time, the whole church was full of people. And the presence of God was the way it has been happening here. People came from far. They did not want to leave. And the whole place was filled with people. Even in the neighborhood, they had to say, decided to come to the church. The whole place was filled to the brim. And they looked for a way, how can we feed these people? And some people said, well, well, well we shall be able to sell our properties. And we shall give what is required. And uh, along the way, people brought in sold their property, they say, I came, I, I brought you with half of what I've given, I've bought, I sold. 
others came, I have brought the whole amount of what I've sold. Now, Ananias with the, with the wife connived, connived, conniving together. They said, let's keep part of this, conniving. When I see that villa shifting, he says, this man with his English, conniving. Uh, the woman and Ananias and Sapphira connived. They said, let us leave this part here. And, uh, oh, when Ananias came to the church because he wanted to show off that he was giving, Peter said, oh, welcome. He said, my brother, this is all that we sold. All the money we sold is here. And they put it, placed it on his feet. Peter said, as people were clapping, people clapped and said, wow, thank you. It was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. A lot of money. Peter said, okay, hold on before you clap. He said, Ananias, is this all that you have said that you sold everything and the whole money is here? He said, yes. He said, why have you lied to men? Why do you lie to the church members? Why do you have a hypocritical spirit? Why are you a hypocrite? By the way, Ananias, you've not lied to these church people, but you have lied to God. And immediately, because he used, you've lied to the Holy Spirit. We have sp the Father, the sp Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They are all one. Hypocrisy. He said, why are you hypocrite? Why are you hypocrite, my brother? And because they had connived with their wife, you know, we, I think so these services should go for three hours because the wife was reminding, putting on lipsticks and putting on all, making herself beautiful in the, in the mirror. She had remained behind. She didn't come, she didn't drive with him. She had remained behind getting se herself ready. It may take about two hours for a lady to get se herself ready. Yeah, so the services, you need to push them for three hours. And when she reached, because they had connived, and they agreed, you know, it was it's so hurting. Because when you are a hypocrite, hypocrisy is something that is hidden. Nobody sees it. I remember when I was walking before I got saved. Even when I was saved, I never realized that I was a hypocrite. Me. I was a typical hypocrite. I would say this, do the other. I would want to impress people. I'd want the best car and everybody to see I'm the only one. And I was the only, I, buy, I usually had to buy the only car because I bought one time a car called, uh, it's a Peugeot. We are only four, three people in Kampala who had that car. Passat, red in color. I was so proud. I would pass through women, go put my hand out. And they say, yes, that's the, that's the guy, that's the guy. That's the guy. But in my heart, I was trying to show off hypocrisy. We were at school. 
I had an English man who were helping my mother to pay my school fees. And uh, the, right now they're in London. That is uh, Kennedy uh, Latif, Safina Latif. We grew them with my, my sister. So when we went to secondary, we had a big music system. It was called Sankei. It had two speakers and two double decks. So for us, we'd go and make our own disco. That speaker, would, we would make disco. <laughs> we at school, we go disco. And I would, I would be the governor. I would, everybody would ask me. And that does not mind. It was the other Muzungus. But because we are coming from the same family and they are helping me and we are coming from the same home, uh, I, was, I was so angry when I could see people talking to him. I was feeling so bad. I was feeling so bad. Can you imagine Hussein? I think so. Even some people must now, my, the people who survived those days right now are saying, yeah, this man can remember he's truly saved. Because during our school level, I used to hate them to talk to Kennedy, Hussein. I didn't want them. My heart was, when I would find him talking to him, I had to die. I'd feel, Dah. I'd feel bad. Godfrey, a hypocrite. Typical hypocrite, you see me here. I was a typical hypocrite. And that would wound me that would hurt me and I did not know even when I went to Christ I did not know that I was a hypocrite I did not know I didn't know how proud I was I was so proud so proud Don't joke. You, don't, you, you people, you're not proud. You've never seen a proud. You never, saw, you never saw me when I was proud. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was proud. Now you see me humble. I was a proud man. And I was telling, I was saying, you know that person? She's very proud. Can you imagine? I'm telling somebody's proud, yet it was me who is also proud. You see, Hypocrisy causes wounds in your heart. It destroys you. It destroys your capability. You have false faith. Your faith is false. You do things to satisfy your ego. You do things to please your heart, not God. And you cannot break through because God is no longer with you. God has walked away because you have grieved the Holy Spirit. When you enter into a battle, the door is open. The door is open for enemy to come in. You can't fight a battle, a spiritual battle, when you are a hypocrite. You will never. It will be short-lived. And all my battles, all my battles, in the beginning I fought, I lost all battles. I fought battles, but I lost them. Not until I realized I didn't take in the glory. I realized I wanted to take the glory of God. Yes. Yes. A hypocrite takes wants to take the glory. You do things and want to take the glory.
helped me to understand that I am selfish. I said, my God. I saw it was a big thing to uh, deal with. But you know, God has given us the grace. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, when you came here on this world, God put a grace upon you. He knew you before you were formed. And when you are coming from heaven, he gave you a grace. There's a grace that God put upon you which is sufficient to realize I have to stop. I want to end with one story. I met a lady in Uganda. This lady was having wounds. This lady was had, had wounds. Had wounds. And uh, she was, she knew all the scriptures in the Bible. She was a very powerful fighter. She would fight battles. But she spent 10 years, she was with the husband, 10 years, she had closed her heart to her husband. Closed it. Because the trouble that she went through as she was growing old, in her childhood, growing in all those troubles, ta, 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 and all the wounds were around her. Her heart was in pain. And she knew no man in this world loves her. And she had three children happily living with the man of God. Three children. But her heart had never been opened never been flood open for the husband. They are staying together. She closed her heart. No man to access her heart. Because of the wounds. She had no solution. But the day we met, she did not know. And I said, I see you have closed doors in your life. Why do you have closed doors? I see doors are closed. Why are the doors closed? Say there's nothing. Then God took us to her heart, which was closed. She said, you know, Pastor, I, I have my husband. I love him. But my heart is closed on him. Because I have been tormented and I don't know and I don't believe any man loves me. Even when the, my man says me, I love you, I love you darling, I don't take it. I never believe him. I don't take his advice. And that day, God delivered her. Today, of the presence of God that is filling this place. Bishop. Hey Amen. As we continue, the Bible tells us that Ananias and Sapphira allowed a deceiving spirit to manipulate them to sell their land. And they said, we gave all the money to the apostles even though they kept some of it from, for themselves. They didn't have to. They could have just said, here, we're giving this amount of offering, and that's how they had to do. No one was telling them they had to give it all. But they allowed a manipulative spirit to come and tell them, tell them you gave it all. 
even though you kept some of it. And then the word of knowledge comes to Peter in verse 3 and tells Ananias and Sapphira that Satan has entered your heart and you've lied to the Holy Spirit. Man, that's rough. To have someone tell you, man, Satan is inside of you? Come on now. That, that's, that's some harsh words, you know. In our PC world that we live in, you say that to somebody in the church, they'll, 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 they'll tell you everything, but you are blessed. Amen. <laughs> they'll think of some new words, cuss words that they have. You tell me, you, you just told me Satan is in my, All right, that's it. We're going. <laughs> We're going to lay hands and not prayer hands. Amen. But that's what Peter said. Satan is in you now. You're full of Satan. Let me tell you something, church. People of God, those watching online, don't try to deceive the leadership of the church because in reality, you're trying to deceive God and he can't be deceived. Amen. That's a good place to give the Lord a praise offering. You can try to deceive me, and you might get me. You can try to deceive Pastor Villa, you might get him. You might try to deceive Pastor um, Godfrey, and you might get him. But guess what? You're never going to deceive God. You can say all the lies you want, all the manipulation that you try. You can use it all. And, and everyone in the church thinks you're so great. But God knows your heart. The Spirit of God knows you're a deceiver. And a manipulator. The Holy Spirit will reveal the motives of your heart. Look at what Proverbs chapter 21 verse 2 says. Every way of a man is right in whose eyes? Everyone say own. In your own eyes. But the Lord weighs the heart. See, I mean that applies so much today. Because everybody thinks they're right today, right? Amen. Amen. Just get on Facebook and, and, and just say something, and, you know, someone's going to disagree with you, and they think they're right. You know, they, 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 they want to argue. Everyone thinks they're right in their own eyes. They'll go down swinging and fighting, even if they find the truth. See, there, there's people who will tell a lie when the truth would work. Amen. They, they, they just lie so much, they don't even know why they're lying. They just threw out a line where they didn't even have to lie. The truth would have worked, but they, there's so much in de being deceived and manipulating others, they throw out lies just because it's just their natural language. Don't look at your neighbor now. Amen. <laughs> Some of you is like, he's preaching to you, baby. <laughs> See, God is carrying out every deceiving spirit that's trying to destroy the church. He's saying, get out. Every deceiving spirit that's trying to deceive the church. Look at Acts chapter 5, verses 5 to 6, and then we'll read 9 to 10. Then Aeneas, hearing these words, fell down and breathed his last. So great fear came upon all those who heard these things. Some of y'all who say, well, God's a loving God. Yes, God's a loving God, but he don't play. Just like back in the day, those of you who are watching Living Color, right? Remember that? Homie, don't play that. Bam! Imagine if God did that today. As people are coming back when we used to, like, pick up tithes and offering. Imagine if God did that today. You gave your tithe and your offering. You said, God, this is my tithe and offering. And then as soon as you gave it, you fell dead because <laughs> you lied. <laughs> How many like that system? Instead of just saying, you know what, I'm not giving a tithe, and I, I'm just giving some money. <laughs> Amen. It's quiet in this Baptist church now. You start talking about money, everybody shuts up. <laughs> Amen. But that's what happened. They said, we gave it all. This is what we receive for the land. This is what we're giving back. Just like when you give your tithes and offering to the Lord. You're, you're telling God and the people, this is my tithe, my 10%, whatever that may be. And then and this is my offering, what's coming out of my heart. So Ananias tried it, and the Bible says, once he lied, God says, I ain't playing today. 
falls dead right there on the spot. Bam! And then look what happened. So great fear came upon all those who heard those things. How many of you know that would probably be the greatest revival this church has ever seen and someone just, <laughs> everyone would be crying to the Lord, forgive me, God. <laughs> I stole candy from my sister when I was three. <laughs> you, you'd be repenting for everything, right? Amen. You saw that happen? Now look verse 6. And the young man arose and wrapped him up, carried him out, and, bur and buried him. They said, okay, he's gone. Next, verse 9. Then Peter said to her, because the, the wife, Sapphira, comes up. You can read in between the rest. I'm just going to read because of time. Then Peter said to her, how is it that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Because he asked her the same question, gave her an opportunity to fess up. I'm going to give you a chance now. Tell the truth. Is this all the money? Yep, that's all the money. Okay. How is it that you agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Look, the feet of those who buried your husband are at the door now, and they're going to carry you out. Then immediately she fell down at his feet, breathed her last, kaput, dead. And the young man came in and found her dead and carried her out, buried her by her husband. See, stories like this, some people say, well, if it was in the Old Testament, they say, oh, that's Old Testament. You know, God's a God of love now. This is New Testament now. This is after Christ resurrected from the grave. This is New Testament. This is how serious God is with us. You don't play with God. You don't play with the things of God. In this season, the Lord is carrying out all those who are trying to harm his church and harm his people. This is the season that God is beginning to prune people and say, nope, not you. The church might think you're great. People might think you're awesome. But guess what? You're a manipulator. You're a liar. You're a deceiver. I got to get you out of this church. I'm not just talking dunamis life. I'm talking about the big C, the church in general. Because God says, I don't have time to play. I need this church to be powerful. I need my church to be full of signs and wonders. And I can't have that happening when there's people that are opening up doors to deceiving and manipulating spirits. So you got to go. In this season, we're going to see who's really serious with God and is growing their faith and who are falling away. This season that we're in, I believe this is what this COVID season is. This is not the end days. So those of you who are thinking the rapture is coming and, 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 and you're ready, you haven't been paying your bills, guess what? You're going to get your gas shut off if you don't get paid because Jesus ain't coming right yet, yet. He can come anytime, but I don't believe he's coming now. This is not the last days. Don't fall for that lies that people are saying. These are the last times. Everything's falling. Off. No, no, no. See, we're, we're basing our mentality on Western culture. Because if it was based on persecution and the little bit that we're having, the people out there in China and Iraq and Iraq are being beheaded 20, 30 years ago are in way more persecution than we've ever been facing here at the United States of America. So don't base your theology on Jesus is coming back because of the little persecution in America. This is nothing yet. We still got some time. So if you haven't been paying your bills, pay your bills. Amen. Or else ComEd is going to shut you off and you're going to be telling you, Pastor, Pastor, I got no lights. <laughs> I thought the rapture was coming. Don't go on the light rapture plan. That's not going to work for you. <laughs> pay your light bill. God is looking for people who want to grow their faith. You see, there are people, Christian people, people of God who've been telling people, we're giving all our gifts and talents to the Lord. And God is saying, no, that's a lie. It's like the Maury Porvid show. <laughs> You've been revealed, that's a lie. <laughs> Some of you watch that show, right? Amen. You are not the father, that's a lie. <laughs> That's what God is, is saying to some of you today. God, I've I given all my tithes and offering to you, and I've been faithful while my suffering. God says, no, that's a lie. Oh, God, I've been giving my talents and my gifts to the church and been working hard. 
God opened it. That's a lie. Amen. <laughs> We're quiet in this Presbyterian church. Someone say amen. All right, there we go. I want to make sure you're still out there. Make sure the rapture didn't happen. Amen. <laughs> How is it that we can sit and watch a movie for two hours straight? How many of you say Hamilton? Two and a half hours or whatever favorite movie you have. I watched Hamilton the other day in Disney Plus, like two hours, 45 minutes. That don't play. And I sat there the whole time. That's a long play, long movie there. But we can sit there and watch it for two hours straight, not get up, tell the kids, don't bother me, let me concentrate on this. But we can't even watch an online Bible study for one hour. That was a good spot for an amen. <laughs> Without, oh, let me turn the video off and let me go do some work, come back, let me go do this, let me go do that, let me... Ouch, right? We can't even watch online service for an hour and 15 minutes, but we can sure watch a movie for two hours straight and not be bothered. Matter of fact, when it was open, we used to go pay and watch it, right? And then pay 10 bucks for some popcorn that you could have popped at your house for 50 cents. <laughs> amen. All those who are trying to save money say Amen. All those guys who have girlfriends who are trying to save money say amen. <laughs> well, that was a loud one. <laughs> All those who are not going to have a girlfriend after this service say amen. amen. <laughs> See, them girls don't play, baby. You better buy me that $10 popcorn to show me you love me. But we can sit for two hours straight and watch a movie, but we can't sit and watch an online Bible study and participate for an hour. On Zoom on Tuesdays. Amen. <laughs> or watch online or come in church service and be looking at a watch. Man, when is this brother going to finish? <laughs> Don't he know? I know. Believe me, I know the time. <laughs> People are dying spiritually in this season because t God is tired of the lies. People are dying in this season. This COVID season is separating sheep from goats. We're seeing who's really real with God and who's playing church. See, you can fool me, but you can never fool God. I'm going to ask the worship team, let's get ready. It's time to get serious with God. It's time to get serious with our spiritual growth. See, during this COVID season, how many of you really took that time that you were given to study the Word of God, read books, find out about your gifts, get deep with the Lord? It's time to get serious with your prophetic gifting because in this season, the Holy Spirit is revealing what is really hidden in your heart. God is putting a light, and he's saying this is what's really inside of you. And for some of us, we're not going to like what's being revealed. Today, allow the Spirit to examine you and show you what needs to change in your life. Don't be like Ananias and Sapphira who try to lie to God and try to lie to the church and try to manipulate the people of God. So just be real. Just be real. Just tell the truth. You say, you know what, Pastor? I, I just can't give my tithes right now. I, I, I'm, I just don't, I'm not there yet. Okay. I'm just giving a little bit. Okay, that's fine. We can work with the truth. What we can't work with is a lie. We can't build a foundation off a lie. You can't build a foundation off sand. It's going to fall. Pastor, I, I, I want to learn, but I, I, I don't know how. And, and We can work with that. And we'll help you. Believe me, we'll help you. We'll get you to the spot you got to be at. But just be truthful. Don't try to manipulate people. Say, hey, man, look what I did at the church. Or look at how much I gave. Don't do that. The Bible says don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. This is not a popularity contest. 
This is not, oh, look at me. It's about what can I do for the Lord? And if no one recognizes me, believe me, God is watching. Because God says, if you get your recognition here on earth, then you got it. I got nothing to give you in heaven. Because God says, if you don't get recognized on this earth, guess what? Don't worry, baby. I got you because I'm going to throw a party for you because I'm seeing everything that you're doing that no one else has seen. And you're not out there on a megaphone saying, hey, look at me, look at me. God says, guess what? I see you and I will recognize you in the throne room of God before all the angels and all the people. You will be recognized with mighty, mighty crowns of jewels. So don't store up things here on this earth that can be destroyed. Store them up in heaven that no man can touch. So learn from Ananias and Sapphira. And just be truthful for God. Give him your starting point. God, this is where I'm at. And we can work with you for wherever you're at. Doesn't matter. Some are here, some are here, some are here, some are here. Doesn't matter where you're at. We'll work with you with where you're at. Just be truthful. Just be truthful. Because God don't play. Let's stand. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm going to ask Pastor Godfrey to get ready. Those of you online, if you have a prayer request, Go ahead and send them in now if you haven't sent them in already. I know we have some that have been sent in. Tiffany has sent in her prayer request. She's going into surgery this week. She wants prayer. We're going to be praying. We're going to be praying. God is going to have a breakthrough. He's going to remove every manipulative spirit out of this house every lying deceiving spirit out of this house we have Claudio saying needs prayer for her children family and health just comment them in right now your prayer request now if you're here in the sanctuary and you say pastor I need prayer too I need healing I need deliverance I need salvation. I need to hear the presence of the Lord. Then I want you to just find a spot right here, and we're going to pray with you as well. We believe God is going to do a miracle. God is going to do a miracle in your life. If you want us to pray with you here in the sanctuary, just wave at us and we'll pray with you if not we'll pray from here we want to make sure that you're comfortable so if you're in the house and you want us to lay hands on you we'll pray and lay hands on you if you want us to pray from here we'll pray from here as well Christine says Owen's neck is in pain so we're going to pray for that as well Othelio is praying for a move of God in his life. And we're going to speak over Othelio's life in a moment. At the end. Othelio. Just hold on. We're going to pray specifically for you. Because the Lord is highlighting you today as well. But those of you here at the altar. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. In Jesus name. Those of you online. We're going to pray. Father. Right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you know, you know where we stand with you, Father. You know the truth. You are the truth. You are the way, the life. You are the truth. No man enters into heaven but through you. Father, we pray for everyone. Yes, Lord. That is sick, Father God. That is going through a trial. That is facing sickness right now, Father God. That's going into surgery like Tiffany, Father God. Yes, Lord. And everyone else, Lord. 
We pray for our two sisters here and our young man right here, Father God, here in the house. We just pray that your anointing cover them, Father God. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, fall fresh. Yes, Lord. Break every attack of the enemy over their lives. Break every attack of the enemy over their lives, Father God. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus, we just pray, Father God, that the anointing would just flow, would just flow through them. Flow right now. Devil, we bind you over their lives. Yes, Lord. Our young man, Father God, we just pray for a release upon his life, Father God. Yes. We pray right now, a releasing, a releasing, Father God, every pain, every cloudiness that's in his mind today, Father, we pray, cleanse it right now. Enemy, you are a liar. Yes. You cannot have him. He is a child of the king. Yes. And we speak life into him, Father God. Yes. We speak life into him right now, Father God. Let the yes. joy of the Lord be his strength. Yes, Lord. We bless you, We Jesus. thank you, Lord. We pray for our sister right here, Lord. Bless her. Yes, Jesus. Encourage her, God. Anoint her, Father God. Lord, every pain that she's feeling right now, Father God, every emotional scar that has come upon her right now, Father God, every emotional pain that has been spoken against her, Father, every yes. word, Father, we come against and we break it off of her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Father, she is, Father, your child, yes. and the yes. devil, you cannot mess with her anymore yes. leave her alone we cover her with the blood of Jesus Christ yes. and we lift her up Father God every attack every tear that has fallen Father God yes. every restless night Lord Jesus we pray Lord give her rest tonight Father God let her sleep well tonight Father God we yes. speak life into her right now Lord Jesus every lie of the enemy that's come up against her father we destroy it right now yes Jesus. we destroy it right now yes, we destroy it right now father god yes, we bless her father god yes, lord Jesus. you have a gifting inside of her lord yes, Jesus. a gifting lord she has a humble spirit father god yes, and we lord. pray right now lord that you would just activate her gifts, Father. Her heart yeah. is humble, Father God. Her heart is precious, Father God. You have examined her heart, Lord Jesus. Her heart is precious, yes. and we bless her, Father God, yes, Lord. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. As we pray for Athelio, Pastor, I want you to speak over Athelio's life. The Lord is highlighting him today. Speak over the life of Othelio. 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 Father, we bless you for your greatness. We honor your name, Lord God, as you lift. We lift your brother before you. In agreement, Father, I declare over your son that the power of the living God will be activated in his life to walk on the track that you have disdained him to walk in. The track on the right side. You already called him into administration. But rejection has engulfed him he's pulling him backwards father lord almighty jesus christ receive him right now as he surrenders you will break all other connections the ungodly connections will be destroyed the power that is draining him, I stop it right now.
right now in the name of the living God because he's willing. The man who was brought into the presence of Jesus, he said, because of your faith, be healed. Because you believe. He told the woman who touched the hem of his garment. He said, because you believe, you woman, you are healed. And Father, I pray that this gentleman presses in, Father. You are going to destroy every rejection of his life. No more draining. The ancestral powers that are draining him. The peer pressure that is draining him. The familiar pressure that is draining him. Today I command it to stop in the name of the living God. I declare over your life prosperity. You are going to prosper in the name of Jesus. I ask Lord for your hand to be stretched before him. And the time has come for him to replace everything that looked that failed him is going to enter into restoration. His life is going into restoration. His life is going into restoration. He's going to experience restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I call upon your name, Let everything around him agree with him. Let the atmosphere around him agree with him. Speak to him vividly today. As he breaks loose, he gets out the garment. He removes that garment, that demonic garment gets out of his life. He removes that garment right now. The garment on his mind, I strip it off in the name of Jesus. The mask, let it get out of his life in the name of the living Father. He is your hero, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. Othelio, as we speak life into you, know that every attack of the enemy is being destroyed over your life every mind attack as the Lord is healing your mind your thought life the pain the headache pains are going to go in Jesus name Otilio. you are a son of the mighty God God has a mighty plan for your life right now Otilio. God has a mighty plan he has drawn you in be prepared as God begins to bring restoration and healing there is a plan that is being laid out for you today, Othelio. Your mind, your rest tonight will be restful. We speak rest into your life at night. Every attack that comes at you at night shall be destroyed. We protect you right now. Every spirit that's coming to try to steal your anointing at night, we destroy it right now in Jesus' name. You shall be healed. You shall be set free. You shall rest tonight in Jesus' mighty name. That anointing that's in you. That anointing that is in you as your mother has prayed for you mightily. That anointing is coming out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, Thelio, know that we love you. We're here for you. God bless you. If you have any questions, let us know. God bless you, Dunamis. Thank you for being here today. Give the Lord a praise offering. And you may be seated. Me and Pastor Vio will be outside the door to greet you. The ushers are going to dismiss you. On your way out, if, if you want to give, 
uh, outside of the digital methods, and you can only give on here. The, one of the ushers will be there with an offering plate for you so that you can give your tithe and your offering on your way out. We love you guys. Have a great week. Don't forget Tuesday, we'll be on Zoom Bible study. You can get the code online on our Facebook pages. We love you guys. Have a great day. Enjoy, I guess, this rainy Sunday. God bless. <laughs>